Hello everybody, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Today we are going to be decluttering my eyeshadow collection. So I've got a whole bunch of palettes here and we're just gonna get started. I do wanna say that any palettes that I don't keep, I will be um, giving to friends because they've all been used at least once and the women's shelters, get myself a drink. The women's shelters in my area do not accept used products. I've tried. If anyone knows of a women's shelter in the GTA, I'm happy to drive um, in the greater Toronto area who accepts gently used makeup products. I would be more than honored to be able to pass on these products. But what I do when I declutter is if it is expired or trash, it literally goes in the garbage. And if it is um, usable, and nice and just not to my taste anymore, I have too many like it, then I give it to friends and they share it with their sisters and their cousins and their neighbors and their colleagues. I don't even know. I literally just give my friends bags of makeup and I'm like, make it go away because I have way too much of it. So let's get started. Uh, where to start? Okay, well, I'm going to start with a really easy, obvious one. So we're going to start off with the Naked collection. So this is the original... Let's zoom in a little more. Okay, so this is the original Urban Decay Naked. You would have to pull this out of my cold, dead hands. So that is a keep, and um, I hate to say it, but because I am a collector, we are going to be keeping two, which is more cool tone, although those are popping out. What's going on there? Uh, three, which is the pink one. If you guys saw my eyeshadow palette tag, I'll leave it up there. Uh, you guys know it's a favorite memory palette of mine. And then we're also going to be keeping heat, although I am going to take that brush out. That's a great brush. Love those brushes. And then we are going to keep smoky. We're going to keep smoky and we're going to keep cherry and reloaded even though they totally ruined the perfect palette. So we're keeping all of those because I like to have the complete collection. I like to have the family. So we're also keeping Naked Basics two and one. So those ones are just staying because they're family and we don't, you know, as, as uh, Lilo and Stitch, Stitch says, uh, family means no one gets left behind. Okay. So, I guess next, for a similar vein, we are going to get into my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. Now, my original chocolate bar, uh, if you saw the clip earlier, I do keep my original chocolate bar palette uh, in my everyday makeup stash. These are just the products that live in my Alex drawers. So, yeah. Anyway, so we have Semi Sweet, which again, I don't break up families. So, basically all of the... I'm just trying to get through the easy stuff so we can get to the harder stuff. I do want to say this white chocolate palette is objectively terrible. Um, but I'm keeping it because, one, it's so pretty in the pan, not on the eye, and two, um, I like to have it for comparison purposes. So if I was just a normal human being, not that bloggers aren't normal human beings, but if I just had a normal makeup stash, I wouldn't keep it because it's terrible, um, but I like to have it for reference. This one's really pretty. I haven't dug into it too much, but this is the uh, chocolate gold palette, so it's like super shimmery. That one's really nice. I have used these two shades and I really, really like them. And again, we don't have the family. Uh, this one was pretty special. I believe my husband bought it for me. It's always had a problem though like opening. Did you hear that sound it originally made? But the little pans are hearts. Super cute. I love this palette in the winter. It's definitely more cool tone, but like this shade's really pretty here and this one and this one. Like they're all really pretty and it's hearts and it's so, so cute. So again, I'll be keeping that. Okay. A couple more obvious ones. Uh, the chocolate chip palette. Can I open it without breaking my nails? Oh, it's just a mini little matte palette. I really don't use this, but again, I'm keeping it because family. Um, another terrible palette. I think I liked it when it came out, but the more I used it, the more it's just nothing. 
Uh, that is a Too Faced white chocolate chip palette, no longer available. Keeping that mostly for comparison purposes and because it's cute. Okay, we are going to be decluttering some things, guys. I just wanted to kind of get the easy stuff out of the way. Um, two more Too Faced sort of chocolate bar palettes. We've got the Gingerbread palette, which I was sent and I have not touched, but it's pretty, so I'm going to keep that. And the Extra Spicy which I was also sent and I haven't touched. One thing I will say is I don't understand why they did two palettes like this. I mean, look at the colors. Like, I think your collection is fine with one or the other. Having not used either of them, I can't tell you which is better, but just by looking at them, like, I don't understand why Too Faced made both of them and I don't know why anyone would need both of them or why they both exist. So either spicy, sp spicy, wait, extra spicy or spice. Anyways, these also like these colors just really scream fall to me. So I don't really see myself playing with that until the fall. Um, we're keeping that. Okay, a couple other palettes that are non-negotiable for me. I absolutely love the Too Faced Natural Matte and Natural Eyes palette as an everyday palette. Love the mattes in here. So this one is staying. And then we've got the original natural matte. And so the colors are different when they redid it. I'm going to open them both up for you. As you can see, the new one, which is this one, is a little bit more cool toned and almost like a, a purple tinge in these two colors. Whereas this one is a little more warm toned. Um, and the colors have different names, but it, it is like, this is like the updated version of this palette. I kind of like the metal tin better because the problem with the plastic dome is that it, like, it doesn't sit flat. Um, but again, for comparison purposes, I'm keeping them both and for memories. Um, and then the Boudoir Eyes palette. I remember getting this thing and thinking this would make me the sexiest person ever. Like, Boudoir Eyes. You know, I haven't played with this one in a while, but I kind of want to. So I'm going to put this on my desk um, to give it another go. Those purple shades are so, so pretty. And I feel like I haven't played with enough cool tones lately. Okay. So we are starting to get to the declutter action. So the first one to go, this is the Too Faced Love Palette. Came with an eyeliner. Okay. We'll keep, give the eyeliner a try. Uh, this is the Too Faced Love Palette. It's cute. I think I got it in a swap. It was barely used. I think I've just swatched it. I have never ever reached for this thing. I don't think it's still available, but I am gonna pass this on to a friend. So that's one down. This is the Joy to the Girls Palette from Too Faced. I can't even imagine how expired this mascara that it came with is. Let's smell it. Oh wow. So I just opened the mascara and the brush separated. So that's definitely garbage. That is the Lash Gasm. Um, it is the size of your lashes that matter. That's not even like a pass on. This one's... I honestly forgot it came with the mascara. Anyways, this was their holiday palette. I want to say something like 2015, 2016, maybe earlier. And if that's not enough of a reason to throw it out or pass it on, uh... I don't know, powders don't really go bad. I'm gonna see if a friend wants it, um, but I did pick this up in a swap, so if nobody wants it, I'll throw it out. The other reason that I'm passing it on is it's just really big and takes up a lot of real estate for something I don't ever reach for. Okay, so now we are getting into some more Too Faced holiday palettes. So we've got the Gingerbread Cookie. I'm just gonna open these up. And the Peppermint Mocha. The eggnog, la eggnog Latte, these came together in a set. And Christmas in New York. So Christmas in New York was an Ulta exclusive, super pretty. I'm gonna keep that one. Hmm. I don't know what to do about these ones, guys. On one hand, I like the idea of a palette with like a blush in it. But you know what? I don't reach for these. And I'm not going to end up using them in another tutorial because I 
do my best not to really use too much limited edition makeup. So I am going to pass these on to a friend. I think I have a friend who would really appreciate these. Uh, one palette not featured, I gave it to a friend yesterday, it was the story uh, the Storybook eyeshadow in Little Briar Rose, and that one was really big. And so because it was so big, it was taking up a lot of space, and it was so pretty that I didn't want to use it, but they weren't really colors I was going to reach for, but they were nice colors. So I gave that one to a friend who loves, loves, loves princesses and Disney, just like I do, and I figured I could bear to part with it knowing that it was going to get good use. And so that is how I feel about these. I'd like to keep these, but I just know I'm not going to use them in videos. Um, I don't think I'd even use them for comparison purposes. Um, they are super cute, but I think a friend would appreciate those. Okay, so now we've got the Terrible Nikki's Tutorials palette, uh, which I'm never going to use, but I like to have this around for like a worst palette kind of thing. So we're going to keep that. Um, okay, let's try to get through the rest of my Too Faced. So this is my largest palette. It is the Too Faced 20th Anniversary Edition, um, which I don't really use, but, and I know it's really big, but it's so, like, special and unique and fun. So I'm going to keep that one. So now we've got the Too Faced White Peach. Ooh, I haven't reached that in a while. And just Peachy Matte. So again, I'm going to keep both of these. The peachy matte is significantly better than the white peach, um, but they're mine, so. Okay, Pixie by Petra. This is reflex light, a whole bunch of shimmers. Um, it's all shimmers, actually, and I've never used this palette. I much prefer their natural beauty palette, so I'm going to pass that one on to a friend. Um, let's dig into some Tarte. Okay. So we have the Tartlet in Bloom palette. This one is really nice. I love this one. I haven't reached for it in a while, but definitely keeping that one. Maybe I'll use it in a tutorial or something. And then we've got the classic Tartlet palette. That one is um, all mattes, which again, I'm gonna keep. I try to keep a lot of these classic palettes because um, I wanna be able to use them in tutorials and stuff. We've got the Tartlet Tease, which is so cute. And then we have the Tartlet Flirt. Again, I love this one. And then we have the Tartiste Pro To Go, which is probably my favorite mini palette, honestly. This one's great. Okay. So now we have the Anastasia Prism Palette, which is just not colors I reach for. I'm going to give it a chance. I'm going to give it a try or two, and if I don't love it, I'll pass it on to a friend. So this one is on probation. Okay, so now we've got Pure. I really like Pure. Um, I don't like BoxyCharm collab palettes. That palette is just too orangey for me. I've actually never used it. It still has the uh, plastic on it. So I'm going to give this one to a friend. And then we've got the Pure Be Your Selfie. I much prefer Pure's skin products. Um, and again, this one I've never used. So I think I'm going to pass them on to a friend. It is absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you can see all the like the nice golds in there, but I'm going to pass that on to a friend. And then we've got the Pure Soiree Diaries. So I'm going to keep this one, I think. I think that's a good mix of mattes and shimmers for me. That looks really nice. So I'm going to keep this one by Pure. There we go. Um, okay, this is the Nubian by Juvia's. Uh, this is my only Juvia's Place palette. I'm going to keep that one. Um, I picked it up at Ulta a few years ago uh, because my friend Lauren, who I recently did a collab with, was talking about it. This is the Balm What's the Tea palette. Um, I have not used this palette. I picked it up as an add-on from Ipsy, so I'm gonna give that one a try. Over there. Oh, we've got another Too Faced palette. This is the Too Faced Glitter palette. Uh, I don't know what to do, guys. It's all glitter. Um, you know what, let's give it a try. Again, we're gonna put this one on probation. We've got the Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice Palette. 
again I did just get this one like two months ago so I don't really feel ready to part with it I do need to play with that one some more this one is adorable for travel by Rodeo really like this one they have a really nice eyeshadow formula their shimmer is super nice I'm gonna keep that one this one is a palette that by Bobbi Brown it is the caviar and rubies eyeshadow palette and this palette really has kind of haunted me so I won it um in some way or I got it like it wasn't PR but I got it for free somehow I think I won it and I was so stoked because it's like it's hello it's Bobbi Brown like how beautiful is Bobbi Brown um and because it was so beautiful I never reached for it but it's not really the color story I like so I think I'm gonna pass this one on to like a friend or my Okay, so uh, just jumping right ahead, my uh, camera battery had to be changed. I do just want to note, I did do an eyeshadow palette declutter, I think a couple years ago. I'm going to leave, it might have been a collection video, I'm going to leave it up here for you guys to watch. Um, and also, for those of you who are new to my channel, hello, welcome. Uh, typically, you see my face in videos, and typically the lighting's a little better. And you typically don't see little bits of pajama pants. Okay, um, let's look at some ColourPop. So this one's really nice. I need to play with the glitter a little bit more, but this is the Sweet Talk palette. Um, to be honest, I'm gonna be keeping all of my ColourPop palettes because they are so small with their little tiny cardboard packaging. They don't have to take up much space at all. Uh, they're great for when I wanna talk about more affordable looks on my channel. Um, yeah. There's cute. That's the baby got peach. Uh, Orangey glad. These are like their monochromatic palettes that they came out with earlier this year. These are the ones that caught my eye. Uh, another palette I think is awesome is the Bare Necessities palette. I definitely need to play with it some more, um, but I have played with it a bit. And yeah, it's awesome. Like if you are looking for like a first neutral palette, I don't think you can go wrong with this one. There's lots of great colors. It's like neutral toned. So yeah, we're gonna keep one, two, three, four, five, six. That's ColourPop palettes. Oh, Strawberry Shake. This was another another one um, from it. I actually, this one I almost didn't buy because I didn't like one of the eyeshadow color names. Yeah, but I bought it. Um, okay, this palette I honestly don't use very much. It's the blush, Blushing Nudes. I can't remember the last time I used it from Maybelline. Uh, but I like to keep it around because it is, I think, one of the better drugstore palettes I've ever touched. And I like to have it as an option for looks. Okay, some more ColourPop. Rip this out of my cold, dead hands. This is the Designer Disney Princess Collection. Super, super pretty. This is the designer Disney collection Midnight Masquerade. Again, like you saw the Disney princess on it and <laughs> sign me up. So yeah, I'm keeping both of those. Okay, I think we're starting to get honestly to the more interesting stuff here. Uh, so this is the Huda Mauve Obsessions palette. I love it, it's so pretty. Probably the first like truly pink palette I ever played with. Uh, this is the Smashbox golden hour eyeshadow palette again very pretty it's a brand I, I haven't really heard much from lately um okay this is the smashbox brown eyes palette why do i own a palette for brown eyes now i don't uh this is another one by quo again very pretty colors but just not really a palette i often reach for in my day to day oh, those do swatch nicely though um and not really a palette I'm going to use in looks for you guys because you can't buy this. Uh, so if you're not in Canada, you can't buy Quo and it's limited edition. So this one, um, I'm going to pass on to a friend because it's great quality. It's very pretty. Uh, okay, this one I am so embarrassed by. When I was opening up my eyeshadow drawer, I forgot I owned this. And I have never touched it except to take out the eyeshadow palette. This is a Smashbox Shape Matters palette. 
It has brows, face, eyeshadow, like contour, bronze. It is really nice looking. Um, I'm going to see if they still sell it. If they still sell it, I'm going to use it on a look. If they don't sell it anymore, then I'm just going to keep it because it is beautiful. And I forgot I owned it and I'm so embarrassed. Okay, this is a Winky Lux palette that was done for BoxyCharm. Um, I think the shadow colors are cute. I think it's kind of cute that it has like cats on it. Uh, basically, I've just kept it for all this time because it has cats on it. Let's switch it up. Ooh. Do you see those? Those swatch like really nice. Like this one here. Oh, okay. I'm going to keep it. I'm even going to try it um, just for like my day to day life. But it's just hard to do like looks on it when you can't buy it, I don't think. Um, speaking of palettes you can't buy, but NARS does this all the time. NARS is constantly coming up with new little palettes. This one is really cute. I'm going to rotate that into my sort of daily pile. Um, I probably won't do a look with it because you can't buy it. But this is the Skin Deep palette. It looks so pretty. Ooh, it has Bally. Okay, so on the plus side... A lot of the eyeshadows that they have in here are available for them in single shadows. I do have some NARS single shadows. Um, like Bally. Okay. I will investigate. Okay. Oh, this is a Mary Kay palette. So these are all single shadows and blushes and bronzers from Mary Kay. Um, I think I did a look. I did a sponsored video with them and uh i actually i really like the quality of their palettes i like how neatly i fit everything in here so i'm gonna keep that i love it like palettes like this where you can just fit everything in the way you want it so yeah let's keep that okay this is a ooh, there's still an eyeliner in here Ooh, it's still new does it work it does. Amazing. Score. Okay. This palette was a, I think, a 500 point perk at Sephora. Uh, I remember getting it at the Scarborough Town Center, which means I was in high school um, and being really stoked about it. So I think what I'm going to do, because this palette itself is kind of large given the little size of the shadow. I'm going to see about depotting it and adding it to this palette. So I'll depot that after this video. We're going to go through these palettes last. Okay, this is another beautiful palette by Laura Mercier. That blush is so nice. This quad here, so nice. It was a limited edition holiday palette. It's just so nice. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep this for myself. Okay, this is a Pacifica palette. I think this was also made for a subscription box. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is depot it and put it into one of my things. Um, again, like, it's not just about having less eyeshadow, it's about having um, it take up less space. Okay, this is a MAC holiday palette. Uh, super cute, let's do some swatching. It was beautiful. It swatches really nicely. It is a fun collection. It was from like two years ago. Um, but it's just not something I reach for. And I don't really typically pull into those pinks, but I have a friend who I think would really like this. So while it is hard to say goodbye, knowing it's going to a good place helps. This is my little custom five pan Inglot palette. I'm definitely keeping this. I picked all these colors myself to make like the perfect just sort of like smoky purple silver palette this one here is so nice inglot shadows they are pricey kind of um but the pans are so big and the inglot store is no longer in toronto so i might have to not be able to get them until i'm back in europe and who knows when that'll be this is the nars ultimate edit palette in um warm neutrals I think I have one of, I think I ended up with like four of these. Okay, I ended up with four of these. I already have one of them on my desk. I've given two away in giveaway, so I'm gonna pass that one on just because I don't need 
two of the same little palette. Uh, this one, definitely keeping. This is by Makeup Forever. And this was a PR, I think. Oh, look at those. Look at those. Put them like over here. Uh, but what I'm going to do as well is see if I can fit them into my Z palettes. Uh, this is Celestial Thunder by Dominique Cosmetics. Okay, so not the color story I reach for. Um, but let's watch it. I've never touched this palette. Let me know if you guys want to see me do a look. Oh, those are nice. Let me know if you guys want me see, to see me do a look with this palette. Um, I'll do it if there's demand. So I'm going to keep it just because it's my only palette from Dominique Cosmetics. I do like her lip gloss a lot. Um, and like good on her for making a makeup brand. Okay, this is a little tiny Z palette basically. Uh, I'm gonna try to repot those. And then this is a mini little Smashbox full exposure palette. So cute, literally perfect for travel because it is so tiny and slim. Um, definitely keeping that. Okay, so let's get into these. So these are my Z palettes. Uh, this one I'm definitely keeping. This one is full of, uh, there's some MAC, there's some Makeup Geek, and there's some ColourPop in there. Uh, yeah, definitely keeping those. I'm actually trying to find a dupe for certain shadows. Those two are the same. Um, and I might have the dupes that I'm looking for in here. I've been looking for this palette for a while. It was like wedged in the back of my drawer. So I'm going to put that somewhere easier to reach. So then that kind of leaves us with my three little random palettes. This one is more of a cheek palette, so it will be stored with its cheeky cousins. And then this one is basically a palette of empty, sad randomness. This was like one of those like duo uh, benefit shadows. This one's a Mary Kay. Oh, these, these were actually a part of my original, um, Beloved, okay, let's fix this. Part of my original, absolutely beloved. Ooh, should not have touched that with that finger. Let's go. So this is again, I'm using that um, pixie makeup remover that I used in my skincare video. And like, look at that, it is all gone. Amazing. This was all a part of my original uh, Too Faced uh, Natural Eyes palette, so I'm just going to put them all back together. I didn't even know I still had the big ones. That sparkly shade I was so obsessed with, and it makes me so sad that the new um, Natural Eyes palette doesn't have that glittery shade. Okay. I'm going to try to study how the palette was actually put together, because I think I am missing one or two shadows, but I do think I have most of it. I'm gonna do some arranging. So this palette here, these ones are all Mary Kay. I think these ones are Mary Kay as well, but I like things to sort of look consistent. So I'm gonna move these ones over. Okay. So let's start by hurting this beautiful little Pacifica palette. The other reason that I wanted to pot this one, okay good, it's getting nice and warm. The other reason I wanted to pot this one is because um, it's just not a color story I like reach for together. There we go. So I think that counts as a palette thrown out because it takes up less space, right? Okay, now let's see about these Makeup Forever shadows, which again, I just don't reach for because of the fact that they are in this little palette. This one would be a beautiful transition shade. Score, okay. Now the rest should be easy. This one is a nice kinda 
purple. And this nice blue. Oh, good. And these ones have all the names on the back. See, Makeup Forever knows that you're going to do, like, knows that you're going to have it in palettes like that. Because it is made for artists. Okay, and let's just see what we can do about this little Urban Decay palette. It makes me sad to want to destroy it. I actually don't even think heating it is going to help. Wow. Just took that right off. I don't think heating it is actually going to help because the shadows are so high up. So let's see what we can do. So we got a lot of layers of cardboard and some nails. Cool. Even though that's not like less eyeshadow, it does take up a lot less space. So that palette is much more filled up now. Um, oops, finger did that. Much more filled up now. Um, this one just looks more consistent. And then this one is gonna go back with the cheeks go. Now as a quick side note, I do just wanna say that I've got about 15 palettes here that are sort of my everyday palettes or the palettes I've been reaching for lately. So those ones are not on the chopping block at all. I like to leave them there because I have them in a way that is easy for me. So we are really just looking at eyeshadow palettes that I typically keep in my Alex drawer. And those ones are all of these guys. So I am only getting rid of uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 palettes. Uh, so for those of you who like it when it's savage, I am sorry. Um, but you shouldn't just get rid of things for the sake of getting rid of things. It's okay to keep your things and to like them. I'm really happy with the progress I made. For those of you who know me, throwing out things is really hard. Uh, but we are going to make this a little bit of a series. I have some cheek products and some foundation. I'm looking to declutter. So if you like decluttering, come back or subscribe. That's a great way to be notified. Um, I have some videos over here that you guys can be watching. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys found this video fun. Thanks for watching. Bye!